Hey guys, welcome back to Maze on Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today I am super excited to share with you guys my Christmas coffee bar. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the inspiration, a little bit of how I put it together, and then finally I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my Christmas coffee bar. I also have a special announcement, so be sure you watch through the end. Let's get into my holiday themed Christmas coffee bar. Alrighty guys, so here I am, we are talking my Christmas coffee bar, it's already set up, it's on that side of things, but I first wanted to share with you guys the inspiration for my Christmas coffee bar, so I don't know, I've always been a lover of pink, I'm wearing my pink lipstick today, I know you guys are going to ask, so if you do, it's by Fenty, it's this one, if you can see it, it's the cream, and the color is Bubble Binge. I'll link it down below for you guys. Sephora is having a sale, so click on the link. But outside of that, I've always loved pink. And this bar was actually inspired by my favorite bag. My favorite bag, this guy. Isn't it so cute? I've always loved this mini Chanel bag. And when I saw it in my closet, I was like, aha. That would be a great idea for a Christmas coffee bar. So of course the ideas kept going and going. I decided on pink and then it was like what goes well with pink. Gingerbread. So then it kind of turned into like a pink gingerbread theme. So without further ado, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a little bit, like I said, how I put it together. And then I'm going to give you guys a grand tour. So let's get into it. So first up, I want to share with you guys how things got started. Of course, you know, we had fall. I had to put all that stuff away. I kind of wanted to work with a blank canvas. So I took everything down from the counter, cleaned it, cleaned all the machines, did that maintenance stuff, which I'm showing you right now. And then we were ready for the coffee bar. I knew I wanted lots of color because like I said, pink was the inspiration and colors that complemented pink. So I found these really cute pom-poms at Target and I knew I wanted it to be the first thing that I put up on my coffee bar um, to kind of set the scene for it. I think that my coffee bar, like the cupboards are really white and I have this window that's just like an eyesore to me. And so I really wanted to put something up to kind of jazz it up a bit. So we started out with the garland. After the garland, I was pretty ready to go. I kind of started out like filming it for you guys as I was doing it, but then I realized that was just not for me. Like it was stressing me out. I think that people who make these videos, they probably staged the whole thing the way they want it, like plan it out for hours. Cause it took me like four hours to do this. I'm a Virgo, sorry. And um, yeah, I think that they stage it they put it together and then they take it down and then they make the video because as I was doing it, I was like, no, I don't like that. Oh, I love that. Oh, I want to add that. You know what I mean? Um, I even like did it and then I realized I was missing a thing or two and went back to the store. So definitely something you can't like film in one sitting. So I kind of stopped filming at that point because I was like, this isn't going to work and it's stressing me out. So I figured, and then we moved on into my pods. Now the pods, I love, I actually filmed that separately. So here, let's go talk about the pods. Now guys, as far as pod organization goes, I'm gonna be using the same basket that I used um, throughout fall, but I've kind of narrowed in on these four colors that I'm gonna predominantly use on the top of the basket. And so I'm just gonna use like some of my other pods to stuff it at the bottom. So kind of like this with pods that I don't need to use right now. So you guys know this one's going all the way on the bottom. If you've been around this channel for a while, you know the shade of the coconut, whatever they call that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to throw some in on the bottom. And then on the top, I'm going to put some Tacantos. This is Tacanto? Yes, Tacanto. So when I'm done stuffing it with the other pods on the bottom, I just layered Tacantos on the top. So that's the look that I'm going for, for all three. Let's do it. And there I have it, a pretty festive holiday basket sorts of things. But yeah, I love the look of this. It's so festive, so bright and happy. Strange thing is I don't even like Costa Rica and it looks beautiful and I don't have any more. So I'll try to get another Costa Rica pot to finish this book. 
Alrighty, so now that we are all done with pods, I think that's kind of where I stopped on the decor tip. We are just going to do a grand reveal now and I'm going to do a little coffee bar tour with you guys and show you everything that I did. Let's go see the coffee bar. So guys, I'd like to introduce y'all to my Christmas coffee bar. I couldn't be happier with the way that it turned out. It's so festive and merry and bright and pink. Let me give you guys a closer look of all the details. So friends, let's go through everything together. We're gonna start off with my M. I picked this one up at Target, M for Maison Molly, of course on my little Christmas tree that I've got here. And then I added some gingerbread men and women that I picked up from West Elm. They were like on sale for 15 bucks and I think they go perfectly with my theme. As I mentioned, I got this dish rag from Anthropology, of course, with the colors, it just tied in perfectly. And I got those little Christmas trees from Target. Target always has the cutest little finds for holidays, so I love those. I did put all of my machines together so you guys can see I've got my Virtuo Plus, my um, original line machine, and then over here I've got my barista recipe maker, my advent, not my advent calendar, my um, Arachino, and then I picked up this really cute frother from, I'd like to say it was Marshall's. It's really cute. It's got joy written all over it. I don't know if it works. I've got a Breville one if it doesn't, but I think aesthetically it's really pretty. Um, one of my favorite things on my coffee bar is going to be this runner that I got from Target. I love, again, the little tassels on it, and it just kind of tied the whole bar together really, really nicely. Um, I got this candle from Target. Aesthetically, it's beautiful, but it smells like nothing. Although they said it's supposed to smell like gingerbread something, I think, or a candy something. Any event, so moving on to this section of the bar, I have got some more trees from Target. This one I love because it has these little lights on the inside of it, so it lights up really well. Of course, you guys know I've got two of these little dish rags. Love them. I think they definitely add to the bar. And I did pick up some measuring spoons from Crate and Barrel. I wanted something neutral that I could carry through other seasons like Valentine's Day or if I just want red. So these were kind of perfect. I also got the measuring cups, but don't know if I'll be keeping those because I got this guy, Frosty. Frosty is a measuring cup. He's a four part. So for example, the top right here, when you take it off, it is a fourth of a cup. Then you've got a third, half, and full cup. So I really like Frosty. He gets to stay. You guys have already seen the pot set up. I did put my stirs and my straws in this little mason jar. Nothing too crazy. Got these stirs from Anthropology as well. I think they're really cute. And then I've got my holiday syrups. Of course, you guys see eggnog, gingerbread. In the back, there's peppermint and vanilla. We are going to end this tour off with my gingerbread house. I think it ties the bar together really nicely. It's actually supposed to be a cookie jar, but you guys know what we'll be using it for. We're going to use it for pods. So. I can store tons of pots in there for the holidays. All in all guys, that is the gist of my coffee bar. I truly do love it. I think it's really fun and happy and merry and bright. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a fun holiday season. So guys, thank you for hanging with me on Maison Molly today and going through my coffee bar tour with me for the holidays. I did say that I had two special announcements to share with you guys. First announcement is I've decided to do a holiday coffee series here on my channel. As you guys know, Starbucks has launched their new holiday drinks. You guys know how much I actually don't like going to Starbucks. So I figured I would try all of their holiday drinks and then make them at home for you so that we can have our own yummy versions. 
Each week, I'll be trying a new drink from the Starbucks menu, and then we'll be making it at home. So you guys can stay tuned for part one of that series later on this week. In addition to that, uh, holiday season is officially here since my coffee bar is up and so I'm probably going to be doing a few giveaways for you guys this holiday season just because I'm so thankful for all of you guys being here with me all year long and so I want to do a giveaway. It's going to be hosted over on Instagram. I know that everybody has been looking for these mugs. They are the gingerbread house mug from Target. They're always sold out. People are selfishly selling them for like $40 on these secondhand sites. And I was actually able to get my hands on two. So one for me, of course. And I'm gonna host a giveaway where I send this to one of you guys, just as a thank you to say how much I love you guys and how much I appreciate you. So head on over to Instagram. It's gonna be at Maison Molly and i will make a post for this i'll introduce it you can comment on it tag a friend make sure that you're both following me over on instagram and i'll be sending this mug out in a week or two to one lucky winner as always guys thank you so much for hanging out with me on maison molly drop it in the comments down below let me know are you going to be doing a holiday theme for your coffee bar if you are, what are you thinking? What do you think of the coffee bar? Uh, let me know. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time.